How many years have you been married to Annette? Uh, 41. 41 years married to Annette. How many children? Uh, four. Four children. Nine grandchildren. So people in the world are totally skeptical about this. How? Yeah. How, you can't pray the gay away. How, come yeah. on. You're, you're, I mean, gay is your identity. How, how, you know, that's the message of the culture. Yeah. So they're going to look with skepticism right. at you who lived this homosexual lifestyle yeah. And now you're married to a woman. How does? Yeah. How do, you've been married for 41 years. You have four children. Right. How? How? Explain that to a skeptical world. How yeah. does that happen? Yeah, I don't know. We just we lost somehow in in the revolution, sexual revolution, that sort of was punctuated by the gay rights movement, which began in the late 60s. Quote. Mm-hmm. Um, we lost the power of the gospel there. We 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 somehow. We, we, we bungled it. We, we, we didn't have the courage to say, well, Jesus, Jesus is who he is, and he has power to restore his image in wounded humanity. We, we, we really conceded to a deception yeah, yeah. that this, this can't be touched, and it's probably genetic, and it's so intrinsic how cruel of we yeah. to ask someone to be true to the evident message of their body, which is that I'm actually created for her. Right. Duh. That's the message of the body. That's the <laughs> orientation of the body. It's the, yeah. A yeah. man's body is oriented towards a woman's body. A woman's body is oriented towards a man's body. And the best of my emotionality, the best of my moral energy is... is, is evident when I'm seeking to see that and to dignify her. When I'm, when I'm in that place, when I'm saying yes to that trajectory, whether I'm married or not, right, right. I am at my best. I am simply at my best. I am most alive. And, and so I, I began to feel that. Like I thought, I got to get out of this bunkhouse I got to get out of this fundamentalist bunkhouse. And I thought, I need, I need woman. I was mm-hmm. the Vineyard, Vineyard Christian Fellowship, uh, John Wimber, so on and so forth. First one was West L.A. That's where I was a, as a student. So I was part of this now very dynamic, come Holy Spirit, lots of young people, fellowship. And uh, there was a particular woman. There's several women that I was sort of interested in, pretty naive, you know, wasn't, wasn't a player, by any means, but I was a focused Christian, and I, I, I think I had enough, enough uh, virtue even mm-hmm. then to, to not, not mess with a girl's head. And, and uh, I met this one woman that I really liked, and we, we proceeded, and that was Annette. And uh, yeah, best, best decision ever. So awesome. What a girl. I mean, what a girl. Thank you.